Do you love making clutch saves, zoning with projectiles, destroying people off stage with spikes just to yawn or dance on their graves, all while looking like the cutest good boy ever? Let's find out if Raindog is the multiverses character for you. I'm Bucky Mayer, and today I'll be covering Raindog in this multiverses character overview. First, let's jump into Raindog's key moves, starting with projectiles. Raindog has a bunch. Patu is his neutral attack used in the ground or air, damaging and knocking back opponents. Meteor lets you rain down fire on your enemies, knocking them back if directly hit, and leaving a firewall that damages over time. Power Crystal is a lightning bolt you summon, which you can charge to increase duration and height. Occasionally it'll fire lightning bolts and empower Rain Dog's Patus, as well as hitting enemies. Lastly, Love Leash is a leash that you can send out that can latch onto allies, and once it's out, pull them back to make some clutch saves. Next, let's quickly run through some key melee attacks. Your side attack is Fluffy Combo. It's a simple, cancelable jab combo that can lead into a lot of other moves and mix-ups. In the air, it becomes Spin Dog, a great approach tool and combo starter. Tail Swipe and Tail Swat are Rain Dog's down attacks, and these are both great kill options for Rain Dog. One of them will spike in the air and cover below, and the other one will have a large horizontal hitbox when you're on the ground. Back Bumper and Flying Chomp are Rain Dog's up attacks. Back Bumper can get opponents in the air, and Flying Chomp is great at keeping them there, sometimes even killing off the top. Lastly, we've got Fireworks Master. In the air, spin forward for horizontal recovery or for a surprise attack, since it's got adjustable vertical positioning. Now let's hop into key perks for Rain Dog. For signature perks, we've got Crystal Pal and Fire Fluff. Fire Fluff increases the size of your Meteor Firewall, and Crystal Pal makes it so that your Power Crystal follows you as it shoots down lightning. I've played a lot with both, and unless versing hard to kill heavy bruiser or tank matchups, I prefer Crystal Pal. As for standard perks, the ones to check out depending on your playstyle are That's Flammable Dock, which makes great use of your projectile to melee approaches by igniting enemies for extra damage over time. Make it Rain Dog, which increases projectile speed and complements Meteor and Patu. And lastly, Triple Jump, to make up for your lack of vertical recovery. Now let's get into what your game plan as Rain Dog will look like. As Rain Dog, you're looking to rack up as much damage as possible by throwing out projectiles. As your opponents start chasing you down, you can look to connect with Meteor or find an opening to punish and approach in the air with Spin Dog to start your melee combo. You're also going to be looking for spikes off the stage, as Tail Swat is a great kill move that's relatively safe. Other great kill options are comboing into Tail Swipe for horizontal, or chasing a high damage enemy in the air with Flying Chomp. Lastly, ensure you're leashing allies and watching out for when they're going to die or in a dangerous position for getting that clutch save. Now that we've covered Rain Dog, I want to leave you off with one combo on Rain Dog that's critical to racking up tons of damage. You can start it by connecting a Meteor or finding an opening. That'll lead into your Spin Dog to get you to the ground and get your enemy and hits done. From there, start your fluffy combo and after one or two hits, depending on your mix-up, finish it off with a Tail Swipe to go for a knockback or kill, or use a Back Bumper to pop them up and extend the combo. Alright, we just learned a lot, so let's sum it up quickly with Rain Dog's pros and cons. For the pros, Rain Dog can keep enemies off of him with projectiles. Projectiles also do a ton of damage over the course of the game. Leash saves lives and spikes destroy them. There's a ton of opportunities with Rain Dog for making clutch game-winning plays. As for the cons, Rain Dog is light and his kill moves are primarily melee attacks, leading to easy deaths if you're reckless. Rain Dog's also slow and lacks vertical recovery, which means he can be punished really easily. I'm Bucky Mayer, and thanks for watching my Multiverses character overview for Rain Dog. If you've got other tips or tricks for Rain Dog or disagree with any of mine, make sure to leave them in the comments below. And if you've made it this far, Give a like for this cute little fluffy boy, or subscribe for more content soon. Good luck out there in the multiverse.